Hey guys, I hope everything is going well. Oopsie. There we go. Okay, so this video might be a little long. It's going to be about, um, well, it's literally the rest of KJ's manic posting from the other night. And it's a lot, so I apologize. But I just, the point of this is for me to show you guys who don't have Instagram or Facebook, um, even Reddit and stuff like that. Like, not everybody has every platform. And I want, so I just wanted to read these because not a lot of people are seeing it. And I just, she went nuts, okay? L literally crazy. The, what was it? The day before she had court. Wow. Anyways, this is the rest of her bullshit that night. So she says, Other bloggers are falsely reporting that I am in talks to settle my lawsuit with Robert Shin. Yeah, you dumbass. Your lawyer did. She said, you said, and she said as well, they want it to be done. So... And, uh, and actually, why the fuck are we bloggers and you're a journalist? You want to explain that to me there, Mouth? Because if you want my opinion, you're a crock of shit. None of these bloggers have even reached out to ask me, nor have they been given any information from me. We don't need to, Katie. It's all over the, it's all over every website. It's all over the damn world, the shit that you post and delete. So no. Why, and I'm sorry, if anybody were to contact you, you would either one, tell them off and block them ignore them, delete them, um, or you would ruin their life, or all the above. I have never been and will never be in talks to settle with Robert Shin and 7M. Yeah, I beg to differ, and um, I can't wait for 7M to come out with um, another statement, um, because you're a liar, and you were proven a liar, and in the court documents, and in also the session that you had your lawyer stated that she was on vacation. She doesn't even know what the hell's going on because you won't e aren't even in talks with her. And you only tell her what you think you she needs to know, which is bullshit. Um, you do want to settle. Your lawyer said so. I'm sorry, but I would take the lawyer side over your lying ass any day. So yeah, you do want to settle, Katie. Nice try, though. I do not attend any of the procedural hearings ever. That's why I have lawyers. Yeah, lawyers that go on vacation. The other one who apparently had a family death. And then, you, so that means you've got two lawyers who are completely incompetent. Ah, the feeling of the problems, you. All hearings are closed from online viewing. The judge is only allowing in-person hearings now due to legal streaming in a hearing a few months ago. Don't worry. There'll be a lineup waiting to see your ass. There's nothing exciting going on. If you think Tuesday's hearing will be exciting, it won't be. No, what was exciting is your is the fact that you manically posted all this shit and then deleted all this shit because you were manic and you were drunk. And you think by deleting your shit, you get away with things. Like, remember how you're trying to say that Instagram is deleting your things, your links? Nah. So when they subpoena um, Instagram, what are you going to say when they prove you're wrong, Katie? You got hacked again? Yeah, okay. We are asking the court to force Robert Shin to hand over discovery and pay our attorney's fees. <laughs> uh, no. If anyone's paying anything, it'll be you. His attorneys are pretending that we are the ones not corresponding. This is false. Again, you're lying. We, oh my God, we are completely updated from Tabitha. Thank you, Tabitha, by the way. And no, it's not their side. It's you. It's you that's stalling. You want your little grimy fingers in their medical information and then everything else that they wanted hidden from your bullshit. That's why you won't give up discovery because you think you're some entitled motherfucker. Well, you're not. Robert has provided not a single record for himself. Nothing. Yeah, actually that side's been complying. And if that's true, then why the fuck do we have to do, do they have to wait two months, 60 days, okay? For you to get your shit together and see if you can actually send them something. See if you can find things to send that the other side has asked for. That would sound to me like you're the one not complying here. He has shown us no proof that I have caused any damages, period. <laughs> they have had almost a year to cooperate and give us discovery. And they find new excuses every time. Again, you're the one who is holding out here. You're not giving them anything. And you're deleting shit. And again, your lawyers don't even know if you're coming or going. Even with a protective order that he demanded, we have nothing. Um, that goes for the other side, you fucking idiot. You, they don't have anything from you because you're stating that they have to go look on your websites, your uh, IG, Facebook, wherever the hell you've posted all over the internet. You're telling them to go find out the bad things that you did to them when you're in fact the one who's supposed to provide them. And then when they won't let up on it, you say, oh, it was deleted. No. 
That's not how, <laughs> that's not how things work. It just doesn't. And you're going to be in shit for all of this. You're a liar, a very known liar. We have asked Robert's attorney to withdraw the baseless lawsuit multiple times due to his refusal to participate in a meaningful way. They refuse. Again, another lying statement. So unless you hear it from me, any other bloggers claim to know anything about my lawsuit aren't hearing anything from me. So their reports of my settlement are false. Really? Uh, just like the time when everybody was reading all the court docs and you were sitting there on your high ho horse fucking smashed talking about how we got it from the cult? Remember that mouth? I know I do. That was hilarious. I don't think I heard or seen Charlotte laugh that hard in my whole entire life. <laughs> She says, despite claims by other bloggers, a shout about my lawsuit with Robert, without a crystal ball, LC and Katie Joy, myself, no shit, Sherlock, have never been in talks to settle. No, not yet. But that's what you want. Stupid. All of our hearings are related to Robert's continued failure to provide discovery after nearly a year, even with protective order, he has provided zero documentation. Again, this isn't about the shins. It's about you. This statement right here is for you, not them. Like, wake up. Oh, yeah. Then she does this shit. I wanted to be the head wife, not the only wife. I wanted the porch with the rocking chairs, but I never invited anyone over when they were still there. I am crying because I'm going to miss the money. On Sister Wives, viewers watch Robin and Cody go through the process to have their children from a previous marriage get legally adopted by Cody. You, this is like uh, 2020, 2012. Why she's even remotely talking shit about this I have no idea. The only thing I can say um, and can think of is probably because of the fact that she was drunk and took way too much Adder Adderall and is totally manic. And that's why she went post after post after post after post on Facebook. And she says, in the multiple seasons of the adoption storyline, Robin accused her ex-husband of abuse, failure to pay support, and stated he made no effort to see his children for two years. Court records of the custody fight and details provided by sources connected her to her ex-husband, Preston Jessup, paint a very different story. A few allegations. And that's just it, Katie. They are allegations, but you try to tell people them, tell people that it's fact. Because remember, you're not a liar. You never lie. One, text message evidence and court records show Preston repeatedly trying to speak to his children and arrange visitation. Robin frequently gave excuses around failing or working prohibiting Preston's communication with his kids. Two, Robin was on food stamps for several seasons of the show due to her reliance on public assistance. The state of Montana closed the child support re requirement for, of Preston for several years. So because she was relying on food stamps, you're trying to say that there was no child support required? Yes, there is. That is a full-blown lie. Um, it doesn't... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. He still has to pay for child support. But if the children were adopted, which is what I am reading and hearing, then no, he stepped down. He's not their father anymore. But if Cody didn't... No, no, Cody did adopt them. So yeah, he wouldn't be required, required to pay it at all because he's not their father anymore. Three, multiple sources connected to Preston allege that Robin and Preston fought constantly about their kids being on reality TV. Preston allegedly did not want the kids on TV and believed it would be detrimental to their well-being. Robin disagreed as their arguments and testified. Robin began making visitation more difficult and pushed adoption until he could only film with both parents' consent. Exactly. Exactly. Four, Dayton was in an ATV... <laughs> In an ATV accident that resulted in hospitalization and surgery, Dayton was allegedly riding an ATV and supervised with Cody and a few of the sons. Dayton drove into a barbed wire fence. Cody allegedly refused to cover the accident caused by his alleged neg negligence. A battle between Preston and Robin over payment ensued. You're sick. <laughs> Five years after, five years of alleged alienation by Robin, TLC crafted the adoption storyline. Oh, did they? So you're saying TLC's a lawyer? Huh. Hey, TLC. When are you going to sue this bitch? Armed with a network, deep pockets, and a narrative that Preston couldn't win against, he gave up his rights under two agreements. One, the kids could still see him during the summer. Two, Robin would stop disparaging him on the show. Oh, I didn't know that you talked to Preston, because I kind of find that highly unlikely. Robin and Turd agreed to drop her claims for child support and insurance. Robin and Cody later took out a home equity loan to pay off the medical debt after they were legally married. More later in a video. Uh, I don't need that one. Okay. Robin Brown's oldest son, Dayton, was involved in a horrific ATV accident in November 2012 in Las Vegas. Again, this is 2012. Why the fuck are you bringing this up now? You, you clearly have no content. You have no sources. You need to leave people alone and worry about your own life. Worry about your own son and your own husband. 
and your own wherever the fuck's growing on your face. According to a medical lien placed on Robin's former home, Dayton was hospitalized at University Medical Center in Las Vegas for three days following the accident. You know, you're the only one that I know of that actually digs through people's court records and financials and medical records. And I honestly, I think that... Uh, wherever she's getting these, I know Pacer's one of them because she's admitted to that. I think that it needs to be reported and they need to change their laws. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's a good idea to start some petitions going on here, uh, especially in Minnesota, so that she can't get her hands on this and do this shit to people. Because this is personal. This is disgusting. And I, sh I shouldn't even be reading it. So I'm skipping this shit. <laughs> wow she's claiming here another thing the kids are tired of you pressuring them to live with you it is a mute is a mute point anyway the judge would never justify it robin has claimed repeated that preston did not want to see his children but in her text she admits that preston wanted the kids to live with him a source connected to preston told without a crystal ball <laughs> Preston could never get straight answers from Robin, so would be forced to ask the kids, despite Cody's involvement in the accident. Cody allegedly refused to help pay the medical bills. Exactly. This is all alleged. Why the fuck are you talking about? It's done and over with. It's none of your goddamn business. Cody only agreed to pay the fees if Preston gave up his parental rights and allowed the adoption. I thought you said it was up to Robin. Robin agreed to not have to do a uh, little he, she, he had two things that he wanted, that he could still be in contact with his kids, and I can't remember the other one, but that was to do with uh, Robin, not Cody. Um, the shocking truth about Dayton Brown's ATV accident. Here's a bunch of screenshots, which you guys can read if you like. I'm not going to. This is none of my business. That I'm not showing you. I can't believe she posted that. Like, you're fucking sick. So basically, it's about Dayton. It's about his accident and everything else. Like, um, you should not be allowed to have your paws in any of that. It's disgusting. Pacer states, you're not allowed to use all this information for personal gain um, to abuse people. You're abusing people by doing this, absolutely. And you're not to be using it for malicious reasons, and that is what you are doing. So, yes, you will be reported. You're going to continue to be reported. And hopefully, they get the fucking hint that you are not supposed to have any of this stuff. Um I have a feeling that maybe, just maybe, once, you know, you and 7M... Well, they're not going to settle. You say you're not going to settle. Well, you don't have a choice in the matter. It's up to them, not you. Why do you think they're still coming for you? You're not going to win this, Katie. You never will. So I'm hoping, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to tag. I'm going to have to write and let 7M know that this is what she does. Well, they already know that, but I think it'd be a good idea in the judge's best interest to make it so she can't even get on those platforms so she can out people like this anymore and hurt people anymore because it's fucking disgusting. Anyways. Sorry, she's got me heated big time. So a biological parent wasn't supposed to ask their child about a serious accident they had been involved in, which resulted in a hospital stay? That's crazy. Dad was allowed to ask his child. My thought exactly. Preston wasn't there and clearly wanted to understand what happened. It happened when he was with his dad. That's what the show said. It happened when he... Oops. Mouse says, no, it's not what the show said. The show said he was out of town visiting friends. Right? Because, you know, KJ knows all. I thought he was with Cody, not his bio dad. The court records and medical records prove he was not with his dad. Isn't that sick? You should not have these records. This is not okay at all. They definitely kept that information under wraps. That's sick. I always interpreted that he was at his dad's when it happened. I thought they said on the show that the ATV accident was when he was at his dad's place. No, they said he was out of town visiting friends. <laughs> uh huh. Where was Dayton when her, when her had his when he had his accident? I thought he was with Cody and some of the boys in Vegas. She just says Las Vegas. This person says with Cody, right? We had a fight. We had a fight with lung cancer and had cable turned off for a while. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Then realized we don't need it after all. Sister wives was all I missed, and then I found you. You poor girl. I trust and appreciate you so much. You keep us informed. Oh, Katie, leave her alone. Robin Sullivan? She wasn't legally married to Cody yet. That was her last name. Don't they say on the show that the accident happened at his dad's? Yeah, they did. 
And the mouse says, yes, that's your main name. Yeah, you know, you stalk them. She needs to learn the legal jargon before she tries to use it on other people. So the family account ended up paying this bill, but did not pay for Isabel's surgery. I know this is not the point of your post, but your medical system in America is so freaking flawed. They put a lien on the home for 90 days of non-payment for an insane amount due to due for medical bills of a child. And if I'm reading it right, this was after over 31000 was paid towards the total amount already. Was that insurance maybe? Or is it that saying Robin paid that much down on the bill, uh, but the remaining balance wasn't paid? I get that she should have stayed current and set up a payment plan, but gosh, that letter is what is inc incredibly wrong in our system here in America. I, I, I agree, actually. I've, been, I've seen so many family and friends go through unexpected and unfair medical tragedies, and they lose everything they have on top of it due to medical bills. That's the only thing I, I can think of that is good um, in Canada, is that we do have free health care. Now, if you have, say... <sighs> A lump on your breast you're worried about, you have to pay to have a biopsy on it, even though it can possibly be cancer. I know, because I've had it done. And same with warts being removed. Anything, cos they call everything now cosmetic surgery. Yeah. Which is bullshit, but... Okay, and then I was reading that apparently they plan on charging for, if you ask now to have a procedure done, they charge you for it. Like an MRI a scan, um, an x-ray. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, but they do make you pay for what they're calling cosmetic surgery. Yeah, that's not true. The lien was placed in June 2013, not 90 days after. This one says, well, the document is that date. It actually gets approved after 90 days. A little off topic, but this exact thing happened to me in regards to medical bills. In the end, I had to sell nearly everything I own to clear the debt and to make ends meet healthcare reform is necessary that is so like that breaks my heart for these poor people to lose everything because say your husband got cancer jesus she should have had insurance and all kj has to say is exactly this woman's telling you that they lost everything in the end and all you two fuckers have to say is exactly wow even with insurance, that would have been at least 10K in copays. This idiot here plus, oh my God. Listen to this shit. Now in production. <laughs> Gosh darn, guys. Now, now she's a company in production. Shit. What isn't Katie? She's everything. The full story with court records, text messages, medical lien records, and full-on proof from the day of Dayton's ATV accident that Cody was with Dayton and her ex-husband was states away. Outlined as the timeline of Robin's defamation and character assassination of her ex on TLC, the games she played in court, and the abuse of control she exerted over him. Sounds like you're talking about yourself, Katie. All to make sure the kids could film, and so the kids would never have a relationship with their, fa with their dad. Coming soon. In production? Wow. In production, the true story about Robin's adoption storyline with receipts. <laughs> unfollow. Okay, why? Liz, oh, this is good. Crystal Ball says, unfollow. This girl says, grow up. So down here, Mouth says, anyone that supports people that abuses children with disabilities, unfollow me now, please. This person says, grow up. And she says, Me? How about you grow up? Get a hobby. Find a friend. Stop being a troll. This person abused my son on a nationally syndicated podcast, so shut the hell up. How about that? She's talking about Todd Chrisley. This, again, is a lie. He never abused her son. What so fucking ever? In fact, nobody's abused her son, except for her, in my opinion. This, I'm sorry, but I gotta show you this. This stupid bitch, what she did to Steve as well. This person says, because she's got her audience all thinking that only Todd Chrisley abused her son, but now Steve McCray abused her son. So this person says, so it's so not okay to go after a kid. I agree. I totally agree. No one fucking did, though. And then this dirty bitch actually has the balls to say this. My child was abused by Steve. Uh, your child, as well as you and your husband, have never met Steve. Steve has never met you guys. So what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, like the time when he sexually harassed you too? Okay, I got a question. Why didn't you sue him for abusing your son and for sexually harassing you? Why, Katie? Why? Maybe it's because you're a liar? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're a liar. You're a huge liar. 
<laughs> like to say that, like that poor man went through enough with the abuse that she claimed that she got from him by sexually harassing her, right? Which turned out to not be true. Of course it wasn't true. And then to turn around and say my child was abused by Steve and now to turn around and say that um, <laughs> Todd Chrisley abused my son on a nationally syndicated podcast. No, he didn't. Chrisley's Confessions, it's on Apple. It's also on, um, I can't remember. Just look up uh, Chrisley Confessions on Google and you will see it's still on there. And he did not say anything about her son. Uh, literally not abusing them at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Everybody that I've spoke to, I've seen, I know of, everybody is rooting for that kid. Katie Joy fucking Paulson is the only one bringing her son down. She's the only one that's negative about him. She's a trauma vulture. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, but yeah, so you subscribers and followers who follow Katie Joy, I would tread lightly because this is what she does if she doesn't get her way. This is what she does when she's pissed off at somebody. She doxes them. She stalks them. She harasses them. She goes through their financials, their medical records, you know, see if you got house liens and stuff that is, quite frankly, illegal. And then she accuses you of abuse to her son, whom no one's ever met. Explain that. As Katie would say... Make that make sense. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go. I'm getting irritated. Hope you guys have a great night. And yeah, please let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, I just, this was all that night, man. All that night before court. So the last video I did was, oh, that was what happened in court. And then, the, so the day before, um, yeah, Monday's video was her manic posting. And this is all the rest of it. This is crazy. All right, you guys let me know what you think and I hope you have a great night. Bye, guys.